What is up everyone? Night Fury here from Tales of the Tome, back at it with more Pokemon Academy life. Um, to be entirely honest, I wasn't planning on doing more until new stuff came out, but you guys have just kind of gone to town with uh, how much you've been watching my videos, and it's been very surprising. I'm glad you guys enjoy them so much. Um, now, the reason I wanted to get into this again was because that the developers had said they were going to start releasing um, week two sometime soon. I don't know when, they haven't said, but I'm guessing probably sometime in the next month. So I wanted to get into this and kind of do a bit of catch up. Um, we're going to be skipping over most of it just because a lot of it is stuff that I've seen before uh, and stuff that you can watch in previous videos that I've done. So I'm just going to be sticking to mainly new stuff and I'm going to try to get a couple of different um, uh, character scenes done. But um, other than that, I'm just going to keep it very quick. Probably going to skip over a bunch of stuff until we get to something I feel is new or important. So without further ado, let's just go right back into it. Hey, you guys! The craziest thing happened! We both picked the same electives today! Same order and everything! Hmm. The odds of that are quite low. Well, how are you feeling about classes? It's been fairly uneventful thus far. Not all that different from high school, to be honest. But a lot of people say changes isn't always a good thing, so perhaps I should count my blessings. Man! I just know that these classes are going to kill me. I've never felt so much academic pressure in my life, dude. Truly, it's only the first day of class. Don't you think it's a bit too early to decry the insurmountable wall? Hey man, I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. I don't have an L on my forehead. So any class from this place is tough for me at this point, you know? I basically feel... Well, like nothing's actually started yet. I mean, the classes haven't had any tests. We haven't had any battles. We haven't had to catch any new Pokemon. When will the school year actually begin, you know? Yeah, I get that. You just want to hit the ground running, you know? I feel like we're still, well, in the tutorial, not to be meta. Oh man, I'm having trouble in the tutorial? I'm doomed, man! You and your roommates spend a while assuring Brendan that he is not, in fact, doomed. Eventually, the conversation wraps back around to your new Pokemon and... Come on out, Litwick! Hmm, now that I think about it, should I give you a nickname? Alright, and the go-to nickname for this for uh, any Litwick that I catch. It's going to be Ghostlight. I think Ghostlight would suit you just fine. Yes, I would like to keep it. Yeah, we'll do that, Ghostlight. Welcome to the team, Ghostlight. Wow, look at that. He likes you already. It's not too often you find a Pokemon that gets chummy with its trainer so soon after meeting him. Really? Huh. I've never noticed. Ghost, Ghost Light's acting basically the same as Shockjaw did all those years ago. R really? Huh. Maybe my Pokemon just don't trust me then. No, I don't think that's it. I was actually quite surprised when you let Ghost Light out in this room hiccup. I thought we'd have to duck for cover. Huh? What do you mean? He's a baby Pokemon. He can't cause that much damage. True, but more to the point. He's not causing any damage. Hold on, I'm confused now. You guys are acting like you expected Hiccup's buddy to go berserk as soon as he let him out. Why are you not? He's a baby Pokemon, as you've said. He hasn't received any modicum of training, but he's just being there patiently. Huh, Caleb, you're pulling my leg, right? That's literally just how Pokemon are. I assure you, the numerous baby starter Pokemon Professor Sycamore 
foisted on me during my internship would beg to disagree. Man, I don't know what to think now. Every Pokemon I've ever had two weeks to take... Man, I don't know what to think now. Every Pokemon I've ever had took weeks to feel comfortable around me. I thought it was normal, but with you two saying the opposite, maybe I'm just bad at Pokemon. You probably are. Hilbert, let me finish. Whether anyone here is good or bad at Pokemon, Ethan and Hiccup's experience is not typical. If we were out, if we were to let our Pokemon out right now, this room would become a disaster. So you're not one of the odd ones out here, Brendan. Ha, oh, sweet. Hi, wait, isn't being one of the odd ones out a good thing here? Maybe we can ask Professor Oak about it. I wanted to ask him some questions earlier anyway. Actually, Ethan, which homeroom do you have? Given we've got the same starter and electives, I'm really surprised we don't have the same homeroom. Oh yeah, I uh, with, uh, I mean, uh, Professor Cherry. Hmm, I don't remember that name from the faculty page. Yeah, she's a new hire and she's, well, she's a lot. Anyway, I'll see if I can get to the homeroom early tomorrow and ask old man, o I mean, Professor Oak, about why our Pokemon are weird. Or not weird, I guess? Sounds like a plan. Now, I'm gonna turn in. Night all. Sounds good. What about you two? Ready for bed? Pika. And with that, everyone goes to bed. As you crawl into bed, you don't even have time to realize just how exhausted you are. Not even a minute after your head hits the pillow, you fall into a deep sleep. The next day. Looks like everyone is still asleep. Well, I wanted to get to class so I could talk to Old Man Oak before class started, so this is fine by me. I'm off, Shock Jaw. Pika, Pika. All right. Unfortunately, despite your efforts to engage Professor Oak in conversation, he adamantly refuses to answer any questions, saying that he'll answer them later. Having failed in your quest, you hope Ethan has more success and settle in for your lesson. How's everyone doing this morning? I hope you all had a good night's sleep, because we'll be covering a lot of material today. This will be on the test, so pay close attention. Professor, you haven't explained to us how testing works in this class yet. Oh, is that right? Well, now is as good a time as any. As you know, aside from Pokemon raising, you are responsible for passing both midterms and finals for homeroom classes. On top of those here at homeroom, you will be given quizzes every Monday and Thursday before the end of the day. Not only will some of the questions be present on future exams, but getting them right can help you outside of school. Take my word for it, I would pay attention to these lectures if I were you. You'll thank me sooner than you'd think. When Old Man Oak says stuff like that, you know he's being serious about it. I should probably follow his advice. Hasn't let me down before. Right then, how about we take a practice quiz now? Okay, so this is going to be a hypothetical battle scenario. This is the first one, so it's pretty dang easy. Uh, I'll just do a little tail whip and a tackle and... Hmm. Okay. I'd have thought that would have taken him down in one hit, but oh well. Alright, so as you can see, battle system is implemented in the game and, um, well... There you go, the mechanics are working. Hey, okay, first battle, first real battle versus blue. Alright. So, now, I didn't know originally that they were going to give blue an Eevee. I was fully expecting a Squirtle, but you know what? 
It works in my favor because his normal type attacks can't hurt me. Ha ha ha. And even though my ghost type attacks won't work, I can still at least do damage. Come on now. The amount of times that miss is actually kind of amazing in this. I wonder if the RNG is in play. N no way! I was just careless! Great job, Ghostlight! Nicely done. That was a good battle. You both should be proud of yourselves and your Pokemon. Speaking of which, let's get them fixed up. Once again, thank you, Blue and Hiccup, for showing us fine Pokemon battle. Pokemon certainly looked like they were enjoying themselves. Remember to always keep this in mind. Pokemon battles aren't just about winning. What matters most is how you and your Pokemon work together as a team. Alright, that'll be it for today. Enjoy the rest of the day. Oh, I'm beat. Maybe it's the added pressure of having the whole class watch me during my battle, but I feel like I'm way more tired than I should be. I mean, I'm not even doing any of the real battling. Ghostlight is. So why am I so worn out? Hey, Hiccup! What the hell was that? Uh, hi, Hilda. Yeah, hi, whatever. What the hell was that? You're gonna have to be way more specific. Hi, Hiccup. Is something wrong? Nah, I was just talking with Hilda. She's got some questions. I think. Don't pretend you have no idea what just happened. I will continue not to pretend to have no idea at what just happened. Uh, bro, I think she was talking about how Ghostlight just did exactly what you told him to. Huh? Brandon told me that you let your Pokemon out in the dorm and it was completely still. I wasn't sure I believed him, but now I do. Seriously, what the hell? The brand new Pokemon, you can't train them to be that obedient. Literally, you can't train them. My mo I must say, I noticed your Pokemon's peculiar behavior too. I was hoping to inquire as how you managed to do that. Yeah, that's so weird. If I don't know any better, I'd think that you'd been training that Pokemon for months. Hey, Gardenia. You, uh, picked up a lot of friends pretty quickly, huh, Hiccup? L like I said, inoffensive charisma. Hiccup, I... Hmm, rather too crowded here. We'll chat later. I'll take his place. You need to answer a couple of questions, bub. Hey, what's up with the crowd? Guys, I really don't have any answers. I just ask my Pokemon to do something and they do it. I mean, that's just what Pokemon trainers do, right? I mean, I guess. Yeah, bro, but you make it look so easy. Perhaps you're subconsciously applying some strategy that we haven't yet discovered. That's bullshit, and I don't believe you. They're really not listening, huh? I think Old Man Oak might be the only one who could answer this question for me, but I swear he's trying to avoid me. Maybe I'll be able to track him down after my next elective. <laughs> hey, bud. Hey. Good battling! Since we've got the same Pokemon, I can figure out how to battle better by watching you. What, like I'm sort of sort of crash test dummy? Well, not a dummy, but a crash test something, yeah. Well, maybe don't follow my example exactly. Why not? You won. Oh, I guess that wasn't exactly entirely on you. You know, just as much as I do that Snot Loud's Eevee wasn't listening. <clears throat> you know just as much as I do that Snot Loud CV wasn't listening to a single word he said. Yeah, I can't deny that. I guess it makes sense that he'd get such a willful and stubborn Mon, though. Like trainer like Mon. I wonder. What about? It's just that conversation in the dorm last night. And a few things Professor Cherry said. Are you also getting the vibe that people think training Pokemon is a lot harder than it feels so far? 
Yeah, that's exactly it. Then I guess we're either very good at it, or we're about to see why everyone else thinks it's so hard. Let's hope it's the first thing. Crossing my fingers. So we got something weird going on that our main character can do that other people can't or don't seem to understand. So that's the mystery that we're trying to solve here. All right. Oh, I should explain why I'm not taking fire electives. Because um, apparently there is... Let me see it. Okay. So there's a cap here for the Pokemon's level and their potential. Now, potential means the experience that the Pokemon has as far as like winning battles and stuff like that. So um, my Pokemon's level, of course, matches its potential at the moment. However, because of my particular expertise at the moment in ghost type, my cap is currently level two, which is my expertise in ghost. Now I did ask the developers um, if like having expertise in both ghost and fire would up that cap. However, it looks like it only works for the highest proficiency that you have. So for example, in my traits, okay, it doesn't show it. Um, but basically your highest proficiency will take precedence over your lower ones when it comes to Pokemon with dual types. So keep that in mind when you're taking elective classes, if there's a specific person you want to get closer to, or if there's a specific type of Pokemon you want to have level up, just so that you're not wasting your time trying to do both classes if it's a dual type. <clears throat> Hilda, what are you doing here? What else? Hilbert Wrangling? This is his classroom, right? Yeah, but he's hiding under the desk over there. You bastard. I was cloaked in the shadows, and she- There you are! You were planning on skipping out on our training regime again. Mm, I was planning on it, yes. Well, now you're not. You know what happens when you go too long without exercise. What's this about a regime? Reg- Regimen? Ugh, where to begin? Hilbert's got this- dream that he obsesses over and because he's so obsessed he forgets to eat or sleep or drink or exercise which is why Hilbert will fall asleep in the middle of a conversation he's bored of because he's got the stamina of a cleffa or maybe I just fell asleep in the middle of boring conversations because they're boring you're a good friend no but I am a good mother for whatever that's worth I think we all know where this one's going. <clears throat> well, you're a hot mom. Booyah. Damn, playboy. You say that to all the teenage single moms out there? Funnily enough, you're the only one I've met. Ugh. Get a room. Hey, you better be heading to the goddamn recreation center, Hilbert. I am. Get off my case. You're not my real mom. Mika, Mika. Hey, Shark Jar, I'm back. Hi, dude. Welcome back. Welcome back. Shark Jar was waiting by the door for you again. I've never seen a Pokemon so eager to welcome back its owner before. What can I say? We're just really good friends, I guess. Right, bud? Be good, you. Just curious, Hiccup, but do you always talk to Shockjaw like that? Like what? It's like, uh, you figure he understands what you're saying. I've noticed it before with Ghostlight too, but it seems to me that you actually understand each other. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't get everything, but there's a tone of voice, body, language, or, or body language, <sighs> facial expressions. You get those from Ghostlight too? Dude, you're something else. Is it really that weird? I haven't many met I haven't met many Pokemon trainers before, so I've always assumed they were like me and Shockjaw. 
Maybe it's because Shock John and I have been together since I was a kid? No, I don't think that's it. That wouldn't explain Ghostlight, who you just got. And my Pokemon and I have history too. You have a Pokemon from home too? Yes, my Flabebe. She was a gift from my parents after one of their overseas events when I was in grade school. Though she's not much for companionship, she refuses to listen to anyone but me. The days are a little less monotonous with her around. Yeah, and I've had my shroomish since I was a little kid. Man, I caught him together right in the Petalburg woods when we were visiting my dad. Oh, he, we had no idea what a shroomish was, but we just had to have our own Pokemon. It took us days to decide who got to keep him. Huh, it's cool that you two have stories like that. One day, my neighbor invited me over and just handed me Shockjaw. I don't really have a story like you guys. Actually, I can barely remember that day. Come on, you can't think that. Everybody's got a story to tell. How I got my Pokemon shouldn't affect anyone else. Yes, that's nonsense. No two Pokemon human pairs are the same. Our bonds are special, and that's what makes our relationship with Pokemon something to be treasured. How two vastly different creatures can understand and trust each other so implicitly is truly a marvel of the world. Excuse my poetic tone of phrase. <laughs> ah! Oh, that's me. It's getting late. I'll be heading to bed. Don't stay up too late, Brendan. Hiccup. They say staying up late is bad for your skin. Yeah, gotta get up early for morning run. Not you two. Alright, good night, guys. You guys should sleep too. I'll head to bed soon. Pika. But before that, I need to review my classwork. I still don't know how I'm going to pay for this, so I think my best bet right now is to just do my work as well as I can. I'm sure there is some scholarship money in it for a top student. Or at least, I hope there is. Wednesday. Good morning, sleepyhead. Sleep well? Ugh, too well. Ugh, maybe I don't have ugh, much time to get homeroom, do I? Fred, not. We just hung back to make sure you woke up. You snored like an explode. Explode? I would have thought Snorlax would be a more apt comparison. Yeah, probably. But I don't know what that is. Hey guys, focus up. Did anyone notice what time I went to bed last night? What, like we watched you sleep? No, man. One twelve in the morning, obviously. What? You're all just unobservant. The Batman must always be prepared and cloaked in the shadows of the night to observe his rivals. If he keeps slamming that door, we're going to have to pay to repair it. Well, whatever, dude. One in the morning is way too late to stay up. You gotta put your health first, man. Yeah, that's my bad. Won't happen again. Cool. And now that we've saved your life, well, you'll come with us to Battle Hall after classes today, right? Ah, huh? well, sure. For context, we're discussing it. We were discussing it amongst ourselves, and we decided we wanted to see if we could watch some battles. Yeah, the battle team's meant to be there, right? I'm not all that interested in the big BT myself, but they're meant to be pretty huge in this school. Yeah, and I'm interested in them, so you'll come, right? Yeah, of course. It'll be fine. Sick. First, though. We should really get to class. It's already... Wait, what time is it? Crap! Let's go quick. Alright, let's get the points for the people. Do -do -do -do. Blah, 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 blah. Battle time! Dun, dun, dun. Your cat is gonna die. It sucks cause it can't actually hit me cause it only knows normal attacks. So it's going down. It went down so freaking hard. 
Ah, it seems I've made a few tactical errors. That's right, the dark side isn't as strong with you as you think, palps. <clears throat> Don't worry about it. At this level, battles are typically a coin flip. Thank you. This was a very satisfying battle. I look forward to your rematch soon. <clears throat> That'll be all for today. Enjoy the rest of your day. Okay. Ah, looks like there's a bunch of different tables I can sit at. I know picking a table is a serious deal, though I shouldn't take this lightly. I should probably only sit at tables where I know and have a positive relationship with everyone there. Alright, so the way that these work... Typically, you gotta unlock or have at least... No, you've got to have met each person at least once at some point within the game. And obviously, you're not going to be able to get all of them right away. So you kind of just, you know, get lucky and get what you get. Um, and at this particular moment, I haven't quote unquote met um, everyone in their different classes yet. So at the moment, I only get this one up the top here with Ethan who is currently at the sleeping table. Hmm. Blocking Tartarus. Tartarus? What's that? Sounds like a toothpaste. Watch over Ethan's slumbering form as lunch draws to a close. Hmm. <laughs> huh. Hiccup. Oh, did I fall asleep again? <laughs> Thanks for watching out for me, bud. <laughs> Anytime. Yay. And obviously, sitting at a table with people gets you points towards your relationship with them. You sprint to your homeroom, managing to corner Professor Oak before class begins. Sam, we need to talk. That we do, Hiccup. But now is neither the time nor the place for that. But why, Sam? Have I done something wrong? You of all people should know that I, if I believe someone is doing something wrong, I tell them. No, lad, you've done nothing wrong. I simply need to collect my thoughts. Given the importance of the conversation we are to have, it wouldn't do to tell you anything incorrect. <sighs> That's old man Oak for you. A brilliant, brilliant man, but nothing short of a miracle can get him to move on anyone else's schedule. Oh, hey, guys, I was just looking for you. Hiccup, is that so? We were just about to try and find you. What kept you guys? Let's show ya. Ready, guys? Three, two, one. Oh, I thought we were gonna go on go. Hey there, little guys. These must be your Pokemon from home, then. That's right. After our chat last night, we all called our parents and asked for them to be sent over. I think the little guy missed me. When I let him out of the Pokemon Center, he let his spores out everywhere. Got in a little trouble for that. <laughs> yes, and my Flabebe is being Sundere. You notice Caleb's Flabebe is very purposefully not paying attention to him. Guess the little guy... Guess the little guys didn't like being left alone for a bit. Seems so, yes. Shroomish, where are you going? Wait for me! The baby, please, not now. I'll give you lots of attention. Well, well, Pichu, you want to run off as well? The spiky eared Pichu tightly hugs Ethan's leg, clearly not intending to leave. It doesn't seem weird, it just seems overly affectionate. <clears throat> What a cutie! Oh, hey, Hiccup! You wanted to talk with us, right? What about? There's an exhibition match at the Battle Hall. Battle Team's gonna show off for us. Thought you guys might want to come. Oh, yeah? That sounds great! Hey, you should run back to the room and get Shockjaw. Then we can have all our Pokemon from home watch the game together. Good idea. Though Brennan and Calum's Pokemon might, um... Yeah, still no luck figuring out what's up with us. Or our Pokemon, I guess. 
I've tried to ask Professor Cherry a few times, but I haven't learned anything. Same here. I think Professor Oak's going to tell me something soon, though. Well, please, let's just cross our fingers on that front. Yeah, I'm going to go run back to the room now. See you in a bit. I'll see ya. Wonder how Shockjaw will watch, like watching competitive Pokemon battles, since he's going to be a Pokemon champion's Pokemon someday. We better get used to them. Ghost Light 2. Alright, we've seen this part for the most part before. So I'll just skip a little bit. Oh boy, lava cookies. Thank you very much. Pikachu likes them too. Is it me or did everyone get really quiet? Yo, look over there, Hiccup. Hmm. It makes sense that he'd be here. Yeah, I mean, he is the manager of the battle team. It's freaking crazy to me that the national champion has the time to manage... Nope, that's Ethan. It's freaking crazy to me that a national champion has the time to manage a random school's battle team. That would be crazy, but this is Kobukan Academy. Our battle team is basically a champion assembly line. He actually won two national champions. Becoming a national champ twice is pretty unheard of. Yeah, I'm fuzzy on the details, but I think that's why the Cantonian and Jotonian League merged into the Indigo League like a decade ago. It's impressive, but I heard what he really wants is to be world champion. Yes, I heard he hasn't any I heard he hasn't had any luck there, but really, how was he supposed to beat Leon and Cynthia? Besides the top four, the last World Championships was a slaughter. You look upset, Calum. Didn't Diantha place in the top four? Higher than Lance. Oh, sure, sure, and that was a monumental moment of national pride, for sure. But Lance is somewhat of a personal hero of mine. Actually, I learned the language simply to talk to him someday. Dude, you could have had your chance in gym class. Uh... Yes, and I'm still kicking myself that I missed that. Wow, if this guy is so famous, I wonder why I've never heard Snotlout crow crowing about him before. In any case, Lance sounds like the kind of guy that makes me wonder what I'm doing with my life. Shockjaw begins stuffing his cheeks with Brendan's snacks. Whoa, slow down, Shockjaw. You're going to leave crumbs all over my clothes. You there. Huh? I can feel everyone's eyes on me. What do I do? Uh, can I help you, <clears throat> Mr. Lance, sir? Unacceptable! Feeding you a Pokemon this, this swill. Do you not have the vaguest idea of the dietary needs of a Pokemon? I thought I did. Guys, what the hell? We were all doing it. Help me out here. Seriously? Seriously? Assholes. Lance snatches the lava cookie away from Shockjaw. Junk food like that will only serve to rot their body and mind. If your Pokemon wants snacks, feed them poke beans or berries. Anything that starts with poke in front of it, really. I need to say something, but I can't. If only my friends had stayed here. Guys! But in front of the eyes of the entire school with Lance being a national champion, I can't. Understood, sir. I'll be sure to remember that. <laughs> Hold on. What? This Pikachu... Do you plan on including it in your academy evaluations? Yeah, of course. Remove him at once! Him. Wait, what? Your Pikachu is inadequate. Using such a weak Pokemon will get you nowhere in this academy. 
if, for example, a student applied to the battle team with this Pokemon on their team, I would disqualify them at once, regardless of their battle skills. Even though you're allowed six, a single Pokemon like that will only serve to be cri crippling liability to your party. What? Come on! Brendan, Ethan, Caleb, someone speak up for us! Someone! You don't know what the hell you're talking about, you bastard. S Silver? You think because you're a champion, you know what makes a Pokemon good or bad? You think you can tell the worth of a Pokemon at a glance? Well, I'm from Johto, and let me tell you, every Johtonian knows you're carried by those three Dragonites on your belt. Fucking amazing team building skills there. You know what your problem is? Because you can't get your dick hard unless you're world champ, you failed at that. You're looking for someone else to blame. Newsflash washout. It's not your Pokemon's fault. No Pokemon is a liability. No Pokemon is inadequate. Instructor Karen says that only selfish trainers call Pokemon strong and weak. But you aren't selfish. You're just a coward who can't admit your failure is your fault. I knew another guy who couldn't accept his own failure, and he took a trip down Tojo Falls the fast way. Holy shit. No matter what Lance says to me now, or said to me before, I'm not going to be the one people remember here. And you, Hiccup. Hi, Dave. You should stand up for your Pokemon. Hey, you're right. Silver, was it? Please tell me, what do you think is the appropriate punishment for this flagrant display of disrespect? Expel me. Wouldn't be the first school I've been kicked out of. As a part-time employee of this school, I can't do that. So hear this instead. Regardless of your skills, regardless of Pokemon you have on hand, regardless of how much you deserve it, you two will not join the battle team. I have said it! I have spoken, it is so! I know I should just walk away and keep my mouth shut, but I can't just let that one slide. I don't care if this guy's a two-time national champ or whatever. I won't let him walk all over me, Silver, and Shockjaw when he doesn't know a thing about us. With all due respect, sir, there's just no way that's going to happen. Is that right? Shockjaw and I have been best friends since we were kids. I know we're not the most experienced when it comes to battling and training, but we don't do anything without each other. For better or worse, we're seeing this through to the end together and we're getting on that battle team we're gonna be so good that you can't ignore us instructor bruno said we needed impeccable grades a strong team and the vote of our team members to join the battle team he didn't say anything about your vote so go ahead and advise the team not to take us me silver shockjaw we're getting in anyway because we're friends naive the world doesn't work like that. Say what you want about your Pokemon friendship will not help you any more than twiddling your thumbs. Get stronger Pokemon, an essential of which fights you cannot win. In this world, only the best of the best can survive. The weak and foolish are perched. Right. I'd take my advice if I were you. And as for you, Silver, Learn to hold your tongue, else you're liable to lose it. Silver, don't. Uh, hey, uh, Hiccup, are you alright? That looked painful. I'm fine. Silver took most of the heat. Yeah, they don't believe me. I don't think I'm fine either. I never could have imagined that that's the sort of man Lance was. They say, never meet your heroes, you know? What a dick. It's not a big deal. I'm just glad it didn't turn out to be anything. Still, Lance was right in a way. 
hate to admit it, but everyone else in this academy is way stronger than us in almost every sense. But he doesn't know about me and Sharkjaw. We'll show him what we can really do. But damn, I was really surprised when that red-haired kid said all that stuff to him. That was incredible. Yeah, well, someone had to stand up for Shockjaw and I. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, Lance is kind of a big deal, and if I said the wrong thing, that might have made you look worse, and... I apologize. I failed my first priority as your roommate. As your friend. Yeah, me too. I just figured if I'd step in, then he'd start yelling at me, because I'm kind of in the same boat as you. Uh, that... Sorry, that wasn't the right thing to say. I'm still mad, but I'll get over it. Let's go take our seats. Alright, and then they watch the fight with their friends. And Janine fights. Blah, blah, blah. Claydol, Venomoth gets its ass kicked. All the while, Red is having an existential crisis. And... We move on. All right, guys, I'm going to end this particular episode here. Um, I'm going to start getting to the next part in the next one. Hopefully, uh, Professor Oak will finally explain what the heck's going on with our main character. Um, until then, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like, subscribe. Um, if you want to try the game out for yourselves, go check out Pokemon Visual's Twitter page where you can download the game for yourself and get info on how to join their Discord server where you can make suggestions and find things out about the game or ask questions about it. So I will talk with you guys in the next video, and that, as they say, is that.